Okay, hello everyone. Guys, today we're going to add and subtract radical expressions. Okay, we've been working with radical expressions. We're going to add and subtract them here today. Guys, today's objective is determine when two radicals have the same index and radicand. That means you can combine them together. And recognize when a radical expression can be simplified and then combined together. All right, the essential question, how do we add or subtract radical expressions? Y'all remember when we added or subtracted variables, we had to have like terms. Again, like terms meant they had the same variable configuration. Right, the variables had to be exactly the same, the variable configuration, in order to uh, combine them together. If they did not have the same variable configuration, they were considered unlike terms, and we couldn't put them together. We just left them separate. You all, when two radical monomials, they can be combined using addition or subtraction only if they have the same index and the same radicand. Think of it as the same radical configuration. Or as an example, if we just have 3 times the square root of 11 plus 7 times the square root of 11, we can put those two together. The radicals are the same. 3 plus 7 is 10, so you have 10 square roots of 11. Because right, you had 3 of them here and then 7 of them here. Get another example. This 5 times the square root of 2, I can put that together with the last one, the 2 times the square root of 2 because the radicals are exactly the same. And here are these two square roots of three. I can put those two together exactly. So five plus two is seven, seven square roots of two, and four plus one more is five square roots of three. Remember, we cannot combine these two. They are not like terms. I cannot combine the square root of two and the square root of three. It works with variables too. Again, the square root of x and this last term, the square root of x, I can put those two together. There's three of them here and one more. So now I have four square roots of x. And this cube root of xy, just leave it alone. There's 12 of them. So that just comes along. You know, sometimes you may need to simplify and then add the radical. And if the radicals are different, try simplifying first you may end up being able to combine them. All right, let's look at these two examples. And this says the cube root of 40 and the cube root of 135. All right, well, the cube root of 40 has a perfect cube in there. The cube root of 8 is 2. And the cube root of 135 has a perfect square in there. 135 has a cube root, which is a factor. 27 times 5 is 135, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So you can take them out. And when you do that, you end up with a cube root of 5 in each term. Therefore, you can combine them together. All right, we have 7 cube roots of 5. We'll go over some more of that. And here's an example using variables. As this is a cube root of x, y to the fourth. Well, y to the fourth, there's three y's in there. So I can take a y out. Well, three of them inside a cube root, take them outside. Now there's just one outside. And I can do the same with the back. I can take three x's out. Outside, they become one x. Because I'm taking the cube root of three x's. So inside, that just leaves one x and one y. Therefore, I can combine those two terms together because they're both the cube root of x, y. I end up with 2xy cube roots of x, y. My subtraction works the same way. It follows the same rules. Okay, I can subtract 5 times the square root of 13 minus 3 times the square root of 13. 
Okay, they're both square roots of 13, so I end up with two of them. Two square roots of 13. Works the same way with variables. Again, this is the cube root of 5a. There's four of them here, and I'm going to subtract two of them in the back here. There's two of them in the back. So 4 minus 2 is 2. So I end up with two cube roots of 5a. And the cube roots of 3a, this, it's negative, just that comes along. You cannot combine it. I guess this is example eight, huh? Not seven. There. <laughs> All right, guys, you can also simplify. All right, this is the fourth root of a to the fifth. So I can take four a's outside becomes one a. And here, there are four twos right there. Two times two times two times two, that's 16. It shows it right here. Four a's come outside becomes one a. And four twos inside comes outside becomes one two. That leaves the fourth root of a, b is all that's left inside. So you can combine them together. All right, five minus two, we have three a's on the outside. And the fourth root of a, b on the inside. As just a summary again, you, you can combine radicals if the index and radicand are the same. All right, if they have the same index and same radicand, that's called like radicals. It's often helpful to treat them just like a variable, okay? You can add or subtract them the same way that we added or subtracted variables. But sometimes you may need to simplify a radical before it's possible to add or subtract them, before they become like terms. Okay, guys, go ahead and complete the homework check. There's three questions, and there they are. All right, we'll probably watch this video in class, too, and then do the homework check in class. All right, thanks.